Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it has been a fucking exciting night here at the Hambone Hilton at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Good fucking God. I have dodged a bullet here one more time. The universe has, has given all Hambone a pass. Fuck, well, I guess it is all over. I mean, we, this fucking close. That close. We were nine inches away from fucking, uh, who knows what. With this, uh, lovely flash flood in the Finger Lakes of New York. Bugs in a Jar Farm is a sad sight. It's two o'clock in the morning now on the, the early morning hours of Wednesday. No, Thursday, August 19th. 2021, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I really didn't think it had rained as hard as the last time, and, uh, it is a sad state of affairs. We will survey the damage in the light of day in a few more hours. Try to get some damn sleep. Uh, good God Almighty. I don't know how much more of this stress I can handle here in the end times. So, of course, you know, I, I got my fucking flood insurance nine days ago. I finally got my flood insurance, and uh, but it doesn't kick in for 30 days. So, I'm still 21 days out. So, uh, Fred, you know, it, it's kind of ironic that Fred went right past my place in Florida. All right. Just went right on by my place in Florida. Gets up here to fucking New York. Uh, get my ass kicked by a fucking flood. The Fred flood in New York. I was just talking uh, yesterday that upstate New York is supposed to be the safest place apparently to survive climate change. So I, uh, I sell my house in Texas, I'm a snowbird, I come up here uh, in, in the summer to get away from fucking hurricane season in Florida and, and get this fucking close to a fucking hurricane flooding my fucking house. You know, I'm trying to appreciate the ironic humor of, uh, of being a climate change refugee. You know, it really is... It is a good thing I have an absurdist, ironic sense of humor that uh, I sold a place in Texas on a fucking floodplain. Uh, good Lord, guys. So, uh, you know, this is the 22nd house I have owned on a floodplain. And, well, not counting the, the place in Peru, uh, not counting that little mistake, uh, 22 houses. That I have uh, that I have owned on floodplains, man. Twenty-two fucking houses. <clears throat> Up until nine days ago, never paid one penny, never paid one penny of flood insurance, never suffered one dollar's worth of flood damage, and uh, here I am in fucking the safest place to to survive climate change getting my ass kicked uh, by a fucking hurricane <clears throat> nine days after I buy flood insurance for the first time in my life. You know, there, there's so many levels of hilarity here, but uh, I don't know what the damage is going to look like to the garden and to the cornfield. You know, I'm supposed to start harvesting my 2,000 ears of Silver Queen corn. Like, I'm like three days out on my corn. Uh, but I think, you know, even if the fucking cornfield is lying in the mud, uh, I still think I can harvest the corn. We will see if the raised beds hold against the, uh, the rising floodwaters. Will the, will the, uh, fucking, uh, 
Will the goddamn raised beds survive? Good lord, the mosquitoes in here. I'm gonna have to get the fan turned on me and the little dog to blow the goddamn mosquitoes out of the USS Maggie May. The Maggie May is infested with mosquitoes. But the little dog, you know, the little dog does not know what all the excitement is. It is just another fucking, just another fucking night in the end times for the little dog. I'm going to go take one more measurement of the flood waters off the bridge. Try to get some fucking sleep. Take about six sleeping pills. What do you think, little dog? Are we fucked? I don't think this thing is in focus inside here. Get out there and enjoy your floodplain while you still can. Bye, guys.